Hello, welcome to Combative Wing Chun. I'm Sifu David. Welcome to Wing Chun Dummy Training Techniques, also called Mok Yang Zhong in Chinese. In this video series, you're going to see 116 Wing Chun Wooden Dummy Training Techniques, 116 moves from Yip Man's Wooden Dummy Form. I'm going to show you each move step by step with the action cam so you have the best way to learn the Wing Chun form at home. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single lesson in this series. Here we go. Welcome to Wing Chun Wooden Dummy Training Part 2. We're going to cover the Section 2 of the Wing Chun Dummy Form by Yip Man's uh, 116 move Wing Chun Dummy Form. So we got up to uh, move number 10, I think, on the first section, and now we're going to start into move uh, the moves in the second section. Alright, so just for review, this is the first section. One, two, three, four, five. So those are the 10 moves of the first section. Now the second part starts very similar. Now we have our right hand in front. We're going to now just move. Same thing, it's, we're gonna raise it up, just like the first part, but now we're using the right hand. And now we're going to reach out and grapple the back of the neck. And then now we're gonna grab this arm here. Sink down with our elbow. Sink down with the elbow, sink down with your elbow here. Flip to the bong sao, wu sao. Okay, at the same time, we're gonna shift and then we're gonna step over to the right corner here. Shift, tan sao. So it's just the reverse of what we did. And then we're gonna go step to the middle with our foot there with the gan tan sao. Take a tiny step with a low bong sao, high tan sao. Take a step again to the corner. Once you go here, flip, do a tan sao and tai jo. And then we're going to do step back to the middle, gan sao. Then pivot to the center. We've got a cup sao and a um, gan sao again. And then we've got another gan sao, cup sao with the right, and then a light, both tai jo. And then we step to the middle. So that is the sequence and we're going to cover step by step how to do each one. So let's just cover the footwork. So we're on our easy kinyuan ma, or A stance I call it. Hands out here. And let's just do the footwork. Okay, so it's move number one. We turn the same. Move number two, pivot. Number three, Stay the same. And the fourth step, the step to pivot. Okay. Tiny step. Step, pivot. Step back to the middle. Get together, and then the final move like that. So once again, gonna be feet together, pointing into a triangle. Then we move number two, so pivot. Number three stays like this. Number four, like that. Number five. Move number six, tiny step. Move number seven. Move number eight. Move number nine. Move number ten. Okay, so those are the moves. Hope you can see my feet. Just do it one more time, make sure you can see my feet here. Okay, put my hand behind my back so you can see clearly. Number one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then six, and then seven, and then eight, nine, 
and 10. Okay, so that's how the foot works. So let's see how the hands work. Let's just move, do, move, one, and two. Okay, hands, move, one, and two. Is one, two. Okay, so once again, it's one, two. So for one, I'm just raising my hands, reaching out to the dummy. I'm not actually punching, I'm just reaching out to the dummy, and this angle of my hand is meeting the, the arm in front of the camera. That's all it's doing. That's the first move. Okay, so I'm not going out, I'm not going uh, I'm not going out to hit it, I'm just reaching out and then it just happens to collide my form, this triangle, the side of the triangle onto the form. Next move is I slide this one straight behind the dummy and then this one that ended up here comes down and grabs. Okay, so left hand goes out and grab, make sure that I keep the elbow touching the dummy arm here. Second, the right hand is going to come from here to grab. Here, grab. Here, grab. Here, grab. So left hand out. Right hand here, grab. Here, grab. Okay, if you combine the two together, that'll be like that. So out, grab. So right hand's in front, it's going to come out and grab. Right hand was in front. Okay. So, if you combine it with the footwork, it's going to be one, two. Notice that I shift it. So it's one, my feet are going to go one, two. So now both feet are pointing diagonally this way. So when I go one, when I do the reach out, when I do two, that's when I, that's when I pivot. Okay, so to make it simpler, I'm just going to go one, two, three. That's the simplified version. So reach out, one, two, get into this position. You have to grab back here, you grab here. And then three is when you pivot and sink. Okay, just to simplify. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so when I'm pivoting, I'm sinking my elbow down on this dummy arm here, and I'm sinking, and then sinking my elbow down on this dummy arm here. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so it's not, technically it should be two moves, not three, but to simplify, we're, we're simplifying it and making it a three step. In reality, it should be like this, one, two. So you do the grabbing, and once you grab, you sink at the same time, and pivot at the same time. Okay, let's continue. Uh, so we had one, two. One, two, that's with the hands. One, and two. So it's one, you reach out to the center. Two, you slide this from the inside of the arm. Reach out to the back or the side of the dummy. This one is here, it comes down to here to grab. And once you get into position, you will um, grab and then sink your body. Okay, so two will be out, sink. Two will be out, sink. Out, sink. Out, sink. Out, sink. Okay, and then two, as I showed you, the feet will be one. Two. One. Two. One. Two. So when you're in this position, you're in your um, in your 70-30 uh, stance. So you got 70% of your weight is on your left foot, and then 30% of your weight is on your right foot. Both of your feet are pointing diagonally this way. Some people like to go 40, you know, exactly 45 degrees. That's up to personal preference. You don't have to go exactly 45 degrees. I kind of go in between like 30 degrees or so. Okay, so some people say, oh, you have to be 45 degrees, but I find that it's actually not good on your knees. So I go about 
less than 45, I go something like 25 to 30 degrees. Same thing when I do the pivoting, some people say you have to go exactly 45 degrees, but uh, I find that it's more comfortable for me if I do like a 30 degrees. So you, you decide which one you like, how much degrees you want to use. Uh, but I won't, don't go further than 45. 45 would be the maximum. Okay, so between 25 to 45, that would be the maximum of the pivoting. And so together with the feet will be one, two. So as, and as we do the two with the hands, you're gonna do the pivoting at the same time and sink your hips down. So that's the, that's the um, step one and two. One, two. So that's step one and two in the wooden dummy form in the second section. And come back in the next video, next lesson, we'll show you the next steps. If you like this lesson, make sure you click the like button and share it with your friends. And also subscribe and click the notification bell for all the latest lessons that are coming out. If you want to continue your training, just click the next video to keep watching.